Welcome, this is the grade three math practice test for T and Ready. This is question number seven on the 2019-2020 practice test. The question says, what is the value of six times four? Enter your answer in the space provided. Now, your initial thought may be, let me get on to that calculator. Uh, no, there's the can't use the calculator symbol here for the test, so you can't use the calculator on this part. Now, do I care if you use a calculator? No, I'm not here to judge you, but the reality is the test says you can't, so you have to figure out another method. A couple ways to do it. The best way, and by that I mean the way that seems maybe a little frustrating at first, but in the end will lead to better outcomes, is to just know your multiplication facts at least um, 10 by 10 all the way up. I would probably do 12 by 12. It just makes everything go smoother as you move through math. If you haven't learned them now, there are plenty of programs that can help you talk to your teacher, work at home, just get them down so that you can move on and feel like you have a place to start. And then practice them a little bit along the way. It's really easy to forget them in the middle of a grade where you're not going over them every day. And if you do that, 6 times 4 is, of course, 24. But what if you don't have a plan for that? I don't remember what that is. Well, it basically just means six groups of four or four groups of six. Multiplication is commutative. I'm going to make it easier to draw quickly. One, one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two. Figured you didn't want to hear me talking about it. So just count them. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. So that's your answer to number 7. If I have multiplication, it means groups of. If I have division, it means break into groups. So that's kind of how I'm going to use those values. At least that's what it means practically at this level anyway. Um, so if you have to go in and draw a little picture, that's fine. If you are a terrible picture drawer like I am, so you have these dots really close together, you might want to come up with a system to separate them a little more so you don't miscount and put 23 or 22 on there. Uh, but if you can get a system going, that's your best plan. And, of course, your best plan of all is to know your multiplication facts. But I just wanted to give you a method if you didn't have anything. So there you go.